You always be asking me where I can get the nice model for the Revit. I want a rendering Revit, so this is time for you. Now you can get the nice model for the Revit and you can render whenever you want. You want to render in Revit, you want to render by Enscape in Revit or you want to use V-Ray for the Revit, doesn't matter. This is model will make your project really a realistic one. Before we will switch to the Revit, this is website Architree. This website where you can get this all the models. The link you will find below the video. This is models not just from the SketchUp or some else program. This is model really nice and clean. So I will show you later on. But now let's go back to the website and what the type of the model we have here. We have like packs like a free. You can download it. You can try it, and you will see in your eyes on your Revit. If you go to Entourage, we will see here the different packs like uh, figures for the people, standing, walking, sitting, so here is a lot of different packs, you will find it with these people. Also we have like plans, if you will go to the plans, you will see different plans, we, first we get the packs and we can buy one by one. Here is different packs, as you can see, a lot of different one variants, and also we have like trees, also we have vehicle, you are also asking me about the uh, cars, because as you know, if we will directly transfer our cars from the SketchUp to the Revit, we will get so dirty model. These models, it's not dirty at all. This is so clean and with nice geometry. So here we are. This is models from the Architree. You will say, so this is a model, this is a realistic one. Yes, let's change the graphic to the uh, fine. And you will see the models, ta-da, this is clean models without any uh, some lines like as we get from the SketchUp for example or 3D Max. This is clean one. This is realistic model, so if I'm saying realistic, so we have here the Ford Transit. This is uh, the when in real in from real level life. Here is Mercedes, BMW and some other cars we have also here. So if you will change the graphics, for example, to the realistic, let's change it to realistic, we will see the another type. We have here the, as you can see, materials, so we can start to render it. If you are using the Enscape, if you are using the V-Ray, you will find this pretty awesome, because you just can place your car and render it. But I said this is most nice models what I have seen for the Revit. Why I say that? Because we can make some changes for this car. Let's select this car for example and we have here the lights. Yes, you can switch off or switch on the lights for the car. And here is the wheel rotation, really? Let's do some wheel rotation, 30 degree. And what we get here? Yes, we can rotate our wheels. So, did you find this pack very, very nice? I think you are. The nice thing of this pack, we have some customable thing. What I say, what I mean the customable, if I will select again this car, you can see we can change all the rims for this car, we can change materials for this car, or as you can see here we have the uh, rim radius, like weak thickness and other things you will find inside of this model. If you will go to the edit type, you will find here the front light angle, you can change even the angle of the lights. So, this is not just a model, this is parametrical model. So, we finish with the cars, let's go to the trees. Here is the trees, and as you can see, again, I say this is simple trees. Let's change the simple trees to the fine one. We will change to the fine one, and as you can see, we get our trees. Let's look close. As you can see we have like leaves and we have the main our tree. If I will change from the fine detail to the medium detail, you will see we have the trees without without the leaves. This is also pretty nice because you can just arrange your machine resource and get the model which you want. We have different type of the trees, we have to from the just a tree where you can find anywhere in the world to the palm 
and let's go back to the our course model and I just changed the graphics again to the hidden line as you can see here. So let's select one of these trees, what we have some settings of these trees, as you can see we can change our trees, of course we can change our trees the height. Once you will change the height of the trees, our around dimension also will change, let's say this is, will be 10 meter, let's 10 meter, and as you can see our trees become more bigger. Let me I'll select this tree and I'll say this is only 5 meter. And as you can see, the changing my tree and changing also the dimension of that. But nice thing, once you will change your graphic to the fine one, the tree on the fine one also will change. If you will select this tree and you will say this is 10 meter, just let me show you. It's changing everything, as you can see. Changing the leaves, changing the tree. So, this is awesome. Also here we have some small details of the tree. Let's select this tree. I will select this tree and you can see we have sitting settings not only about the height, we also can show like full crown, let's don't show it and as you can see some of the leaves it's hide it now and we can switch it off the following tree leaves and as you can see now we don't have it but let me I will show you back did you see it we have now the also the shadow from the this uh, falling leaves let me I will switch it off you will see it again Yes, this is geometry coming from the Revit. As you can see, this is came from the Revit. And now let me, I will show you the peoples. Peoples, this is most amazing thing what I found it in this uh, in this packs actually. And here is the peoples as you can see. Let me, I will make the this floor more bigger. And here is the peoples. As you understand, this is a coarse graphic. Let me, I will change to the hidden line. Now we can see properly. We have here, as you can see, we have here the standing figures, we have walking one and sitting one. But on the coarse graphic, it looks the pretty same, but also nice one. Actually, I like these figures. Let me, I will change to the medium one and you will see this is people. This pretty awesome people, why? Because whenever you will change your camera, you always will see boundary line around the your model this is not rsp model uh, like uh, if you know the rsp this is just uh, some pictures it's pictures uh, just rotating to the front of your camera but this is 3d model this is fully 3d model as you can see and you can place it in revit so here is different uh, revit different models as you can see or you can do whatever you want any action or you can create in your revit project so here we have like uh, some activity and we have some standing, we have like some sitting models and here is the walking models as we can see and as I said this is really clean models because we don't have any lines of that. If you think this is all, not, not, it's not. Let's go to the plans. Here is the plants as you can see, first I will make my uh, floor a bit bigger because it's not enough for us and I will change to the hidden line. As you can see our plants, it's the, as you can see here, the 3D models, this is simple one, this model looks like just a, for example, floor or just some generic model, but it's not. Let me, I will change this detail to the fine and we will see how it looks like. This one looks like a grass, different type of the grass as you can see. Uh, here is the grass with the some clever and if we will go to the uh, end you will see also the small type of the grass and triangle grass too. Let's, let me I will go back to the plants. As you can see here we have the plants. Let's I will select these plants. We have a lot of different settings of these plants. Let me I will change this height of the plant. Let's say this is, will be 1800 mm. As you can see it's growing. Well, let's make small like 500 millimeter we get the small one we can also change also the planter height let's make it 300 only as you can see this has become uh, smaller we can change the length of that or as you understand this is radius one I yeah, will change the radius one let's let me I will change for example diameter here's diameter and it become more smaller and we have the like small plant here 
So as you can see, we also can switch it off our planter. Let's switch it off. Here we switch it off and our plan plants going on the ground. So we can mix it up our plants and grass in one side if you want to. So all these plants have the same parameter as you can see it here. If I will change the graphics to the realistic one, of course you will see this is a graphic we have like a green one like it should be and that one it's also the nice one. You cannot see it uh, properly. Let me I will show you by ray traced. Once you will do ray trace you can see this is totally nice green one and you cannot say this is not realistic. We are using just ray trace this is not even the nice render and we don't don't even do anything you can read also the render it in Enscape or we ray for the rabbit so here is our grass as you can see on the other side we also have the grass but we should retrace it for the other side too so but we not will do that Now most interesting part in this tutorial, let's go back to the level 0 or just entrance, doesn't matter which one level we will use. So here is our level as you can see, the tree will be better because we have our trees and everything on the level 0. And I will unhide everything, so here is a half on the trees, so no I don't want on the trees, I wanna see everything, so here is everything what you can see. Uh, here is my plan, let me, I mean, I mean floor. Let me will show you like this and what we have here. First I wanna turn on my shadows, here, is, here it is. Here the car, you already saw it before. This is how it looks like on the plan. Let me I will change to the fine and you will see how it looks like when it's fine detail. Of course when it's fine detail we can see properly. Here is our models as you can see one by one. And this is also the clean on the plan too. So this is not 3D, this is just a plan what we can get on the plan and the plan we have everything pretty same uh, the settings so here it doesn't change anything so we, you can do everything what you want let me i will show you what we can do with the trees because trees in the plan getting new life so it looks like how it looks like uh, on the uh, fine detail let me i will change to the course one let me i will select this tree and as you can see we get here the joystick by this joystick you can change dimension of your tree you can make it bigger you can make it smaller just by this joystick what else you can do as you can see here is a lot of lines you can change it here you will find under the settings show symbolic line switch it off we get to switch it off something some of this line and select another one and as you can see now we get just clean our tree we have this all the settings for the all of our tree as you can see now it's also becoming more clean let me i will select this tree and we can also play with the with the material because you can say this is i want to change override on the view element and let's say this is will be the green one why not it will be green one let's make it green and it's becoming the green so this is a rabbit material so you can be possible to do that so this is what about the trees also we have like for example here the palm you can also make it change it the height of that and of course if you want you can change the color of this model as you can see here we have like different trees and different symbolic line this is make our life more more and interesting so let me i will show you the another type one this is people People doesn't matter which type of the graphics you will use, if you will use the fine one, we will get our people like on the 3D, then also you can change the material, I mean the uh, color of this uh, people, and for example if I will go back to the medium one, we will get the same one, and if the coarse one, we will get simple, simple people on the our, on the our uh, project. The same thing for the sitting people, walking people, it's everything pretty same. For the plants we get situation near to the uh, trees because you can select it and you can change dimension of that just by this, this small joystick. Just change it and the tree, I mean the plant will change it immediately. If I will select another one I can also manipulate with that only with this joystick. All of this plant's tree also changing by the joystick. Again if you will go to the fine you will see the our plants like it's uh, on the 3D. Uh, let me show you the grass. Grass on the course graphics is just a box. If on the fine 
you will see the 3D graphic, I mean the 3D uh, our plans. The nice thing of that, uh, we can select this one. Let me, I will select it and as you can see, we have like an our uh, grass with the clover. But we can switch it off if you want. Let me, I will switch it off and as you can see, we get only the grass. And as you can see, this is wild grass. We don't have it everywhere the same size. Oh, some of the part we have the smaller one, some of the part bigger one. If you find this model interesting, don't forget you have the link, you will find it below the video. Go there, go to the link and you will see all the models of which you can get from the website architree.com. By the way, this is not finished, we also have the Dynama scripts, also the guy who created all of these uh, models, he created the Dynama scripts for you, which create your life much easiest. You can place all of these things by these Dynama scripts. Actually, this tutorial about Dynama player and the models from the architecture, I will show you in the next tutorial, don't miss up. Don't forget like and share this video, also comment it, and if you wanna see more content about these models, also let me know below the comments. Thank you guys and see you next time. If you find this model interesting, don't forget you have the link, you will find it below the video. Go there, go to the link and you will see all the models of which you can get from the website architree.com. By the way, this is not finished, we also have the Dynama scripts, also the guy who created all of these uh, models, he created the Dynama scripts for you, which create your life much easiest. You can place all of these things by these Dynama scripts. Actually, this tutorial about Dynama player and the models from the architecture, I will show you in the next tutorial, don't miss up. Don't forget like and share this video, also comment it, and if you wanna see more content about these models, also let me know below the comments. Thank you guys and see you next time.